New into stock, we have a Nissan Note 1.5 DCI. It's the Ascenta Premium, five door, 2013, 63 plate, has sat nav, a couple of other extras, uh, 33,100 miles. Uh, <laughs> wind's just getting up now. Fuel economy, 65.7 urban, 88.3 extra urban, and 78.5 combined. Really, really economical car. Little uh, eco button inside, 0 to 60 in 11.5 seconds, which isn't too bad either. A top speed of 110 miles per hour, out to an 89 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine, and the car's MOT'd until the 22nd and the 10th, 2019. So a nice long MOT. Really, really, really nice colour. Front fog lamps. We've got uh, colour coded door mirrors and door handles, rear privacy glass. Little catches just underneath there. We've got rear wash wipe, reversing sensors, split folding rear seat with a, a load cover here. Plenty of room in the back. It's like brand new here. Doesn't look like it's ever been sat on. Um, we've got armrest here with cup holders, cup holders uh, in the door pockets. Uh, plenty, plenty of legroom for me, and uh, that's with my seat in a comfortable position. Um, I don't think it's ever been sat on in the back here. The uh, headrest set for children and right in the middle of your back here, but and they're not easy to get up either, so I assume they've never been used. But uh, very, very comfortable. A, a great car. I'll just take you for a ride. Two keys for it, two, there you go, two remotes. Uh, proper bladed keys as well. Uh, nothing like keyless ignition or anything like that. Harder to steal, a lot better in my opinion. And uh, we've got a height adjustable steering wheel. And that, that steering wheel weighs an absolute ton. I'll just take you for a ride in it. But before we go, I'd just like to say happy birthday to uh, Anuska Bridson, uh, news to her friends. That's uh, your son Jake asked me to uh, give you a shout out. So off we go. Um, there's a big green eco button in the, on the uh, gear console here. And uh, when you press it, for some reason, a, well, it looks blue to me, a blue light comes on but it, uh, it does seem to make the car painfully slow, but 88 miles per gallon, I suppose, um, you've got to compromise somewhere. Just uh, knock that out, there you go. As soon as, I, as soon as I touch that button, the car speeds up. Or knock the button off, do it again. We're doing 35, no. 35, knock the button off, and there you go, the car starts speeding up uh, straight away. So it obviously keeps the revs down, make sure you can't accelerate too fast going anywhere and just burn your fuel for nothing. Really good specification, it has sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, and it's also got Bluetooth audio streaming. Nice smooth ride, pretty quiet, nice, every, everything's looks really well made, nice and easy, everything to hand, I can see the switch gear here above the quarters to three position which I always like to see, uh, multifunction steering wheel, let's see what we've got, I'm assuming that's cruise on the right hand side, 
very, very windy in the UK today. There, your source button for your radio and volume control and also telephone. Um, you've got eco off there or auto stop start off. And there, your door mirrors, electric door mirrors, which I've just tested. That changes the dash there or the display on the dash. Electric windows, which I'll just try in a second. Yep, everything works there. The heat is working fine. It's, it's a horrid day today. It's uh, drizzle and cold and windy. So not the ideal day to be doing a test drive. But it is very windy. We had uh, gale warnings last night. That, that guy that was in that lane then is just the one who pulled out in front of me before. Just came out of that lane and is now coming straight on. Climate control your heated rear screen there and front demist nice gear change I he was going up that stretch of motorway and then at the last second he's just turned off down to this through the uh, I think he came through the chevrons, so he's obviously got no idea where he's going. So front central armrest here goes down and it ratchets up to where you want it to be. Lock and unlock globally the doors. And uh, I'll try and show you the diesel engine again. It's um, you can quite happily drive along. You, ha you have to slow it down in a, a 30 limit or pro probably 40 limit too. You you can just let the car tick over and it, it, and it will pull. No intention of slowing down and letting us in either. Massive big flipping uh, crane on jib on the front. There's uh, the Merc chap. Let's see what strange manoeuvre he's going to do now. Let's have one sec. So cruise on. Set. There he goes. Oh, that's. There's crews on there. So I can't, as soon as this chap's pulled in front of us in a gap that wasn't there, to slow down a bit. It's a good day today. Can't get up to 70. Two lorries just about to overtake here. It's, it seems to be chaos today. Right, 
so we're in fifth. I'll just let it uh, go to tick over and see what happens as we're going around this corner. I'm not touching the accelerator at all, or the brake or anything. The car is just, it's doing 35 miles an hour in fifth gear at tick over speed. Not particularly good labour in the engine, but uh, it just shows you what uh, low end power the car's got. So nice, comfortable cloth seats as well. This uh, zigzag blue and black pattern in the centre, black outsides on the bolster, matching cloth there, piano black insets. As I say, I, I'm right the way back. I've not moved my seat back, and you saw how much room was in the uh, was left for the back passengers. So. It's a very well designed car. have that on map that's to set the sat nav I'll show you how to do that in a in a short while there's phone and there's radio and that's my bid for the Nobel Peace just turn that down actually and if I knock it onto auxiliary when it's uh, paired to your phone if you press auxiliary a couple of times you'll see there that's my phone just click play see if it will play yep Uh, depressing start to a record there. Just turn it up in a second when it gets going so you can hear it. Um, it's probably limited the volume by my phone actually so it won't go too loud but it's a pretty good radio. Yeah, that is depressing. When it's not in eco, it's quite a, a fast little car. It takes off okay. Just put it back there. Let's see what. Uh, yeah, 89 miles fuel left in the tank. Rev counter on the left there, you've got a speedo in the centre. Then in the, in the middle of the speedo, there's an information display. And uh, on the right hand side, you've got your fuel gauge and it'll that's uh, where it gives you how many miles the vehicle's done and your trip counter. Two cup holders at the front there. Let's see if there's anything else knocking about I haven't seen. Feels like there's something just under there, but I don't know what that is. Probably nothing. Power socket here, just at the back. Let me see, do we have yeah, we have kind of a, an upper and lower glove box as well. Plenty of storage space. Bottle holders at the front here. Sure, you had right to the way there, mate. A 
least he's had the decency to get a colour that you can see coming for when he pulls out in front of you. There's bags of headroom in the front here. There's a mirror on the visor there. One for the passenger too. Switch in there to turn the passenger airbag on by the looks of it. On and off that is. fuel flap release on the right hand side and then uh, your bonnet release next to each other. 